Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update. Monday, April 9th, 11.58 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. You're looking at the yearly average sunspot numbers from 1610 to present. I've included the predicted 25 and 26 sunspot cycles out to 2040. We're going to be discussing a repeated pattern from cycle 16 to today. Very similar in shape. U.S. suffering the most extreme cold on the globe right now. Take a look at this picture here. Whew. This is the last seven days in North America. Heads up, Alberta and Saskatchewan. Minus 13 degrees below average here, especially where it's hitting the border here in northern Montana. Freezing cold. Record cold temperatures. The first week of April over much of the U.S. was very cold compared to the long-term averages. There are a few colder than normal pockets around the globe. Boom! Michigan likely had one of its coldest April mornings in recorded history on Sunday at minus 24 degrees. Second coldest ever recorded in April. Minus 30 being the coldest set back in 1896. Yesterday was the second coldest set back in yesterday. <laughs> Woo! That is an exploding moon boom. Heads up. Freezing cold up there. April, but half of Michigan is still covered in snow. Check out April 8th in 2017. No snow in Michigan. Very little snow up on the Craton here in Canada. Look at today. Totally covered in snow. Grand Solar Minimum much? I don't know. But realize, 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 heads up, Al Gore, <laughs> it's snowing. Michigan likely had one of the coldest days in recorded history on Sunday. Effingham sets the record for April snowfall. Totally effed up there. <laughs> Following Sunday and Monday snowfall, Illinois State climatologist Jim Angle or Angel said Effingham's total snowfall for the month is totally effed at 3.6 inches, beating the previous record set back in 1973. Heads up. A repeat of weather from 1936. What is he talking about? What happened back then? Oh, 1910, 20, 36. Solar minimum between 16 and 17 looks just like where we're at between 24 and 25. Minnesota saw the same weather back in 1936. Predicted by the sun, record snow, near record cold for Waterloo over the weekend. Heads up, Iowa. Ten inches of snow up there. Total analysis. One record was broken, another tied for the winter weather in April over the weekend. Waterloo saw 4.9 inches of snow, shattering the previous snowfall record for April of 3.5 inches. That was back in the 73 blizzard. That's not the only record falling in Iowa. Mason City received 7.8 inches of snow on Sunday, setting a record for April 8th that stood since 1896. Whew. He must be talking about the centennial minimum. Yeah, back here, it's solar minimum between 13 and 14. The sun knows everything. Mason City, Iowa was another record-breaking snowfall in Mason City, receiving 7.8 inches of snow Sunday, setting a record for April 8th that stood since 1896. Are you watching this, Al Gore? Record low temps Monday for Hartford. That's you, Connecticut. Monday morning, record low temps of 23 degrees, tied the existing record, set back in 77. While it may seem extreme for this late in the season, it certainly could be worse. Back in the centennial minimum, Waterbury received 14 inches of snow back in 1894. Whew. Active pattern to resume over the West Coast. Extended period of critical fire weather expected over the plains and Southwest. Brown areas, windy. Purple, freeze and freeze warnings. Southern Misery, Northern Arkansas. Frost and freeze watches, Eastern Kentucky. GFS model. Buried in snow 
through April 20th. Let's look at the next three days. Northeast, light snow, and then heavy snow moves into the Cascades and the Sierras, slowly working its way east as a blizzard dumps snow in South Dakota, through central Missouri, northern Michigan, and up to four feet of snow in Ontario. That four feet of snow is going to dump in Ontario starting on Saturday, this weekend, through Tuesday. So we're going to be watching this closely. The earth is tilting <laughs> and the snow is epic. Let's check out the soil temperatures and you will not be pleased. There's no planting happening in North America. It is frozen south to Kansas City still. Here we are in Slater, Iowa, where the corn is, plant, corn is planted. The 24-hour average, 31.8. You don't plant corn in that. It's got to get 10 degrees warmer. There is no planting in the blue zone. If you have planted, it's not growing. That was a pop light. That is the brass facts, folks. And that's called science, which is why we blow up the moon. So maybe your head blows up. Big increase in Antarctic snowfall. It's not because of global warming. Over 50 geese killed in freak accident were likely struck by lightning. Yeah, we predicted people are going to get struck by lightning too. So you're lucky it's just geese. Wales earthquake, the biggest onshore UK event in a decade. We predicted an uptick in earthquakes in the UK. 5.5 or greater magnitude happening in the, in the coming years. And here we go. A 4.4 magnitude earthquake shook Wales on Saturday afternoon, according to the British Geological Survey. Did you hear about this? Well, now you have. One of the rarer quakes in a decade. Predicted by us and others <clears throat> based on historical information. Seismic update. Space weather is on the uptick. Therefore, the lithospheric flexure has quiesced. Thankfully, all we have is these disgusting frack quakes in the central craton. An interesting one up here in uh, Stapleton, Nebraska, popping off at 3.3 and a 4.7 popping off in Italy. I checked. No one's injured. No one even felt it. Nevados J. Chilan. They raised the alert in Chile on the volcano. We predicted it days ago. We showed you the footage first. Worldwide Volcano News Update Fuego. Volcanic Ash Advisory, Eoba ongoing eruption. We've got Reventador and Sakota Jima. We showed you the explosion at Sakota Jima yesterday. It was amazing. Let's talk about the disgusting nature of the planet. Bayer reaches deal with the U.S. for approval to buy Monsanto. Your food is bought and paid for, and it's coated in toxic chemicals. Wake up. Let's talk about solutions. I just purchased two new queens. There she is in the blue. Beautiful. Coming from Northern California. Similar environment. We're getting uh, two new Italians. We have very gentle bees here. No chemicals, no treatment, no nothing. Our bees are healthy because we're not near any industrial farming, thankfully. The rest of the bees are dying because of colony collapse disorder, neonicotinoids and other pesticides from Bayer and Monsanto are killing the bees. We suggest everyone get bees and raise them naturally. Grow food so your family can survive and thrive in the coming times. Pollinators are our friends. We have millions of bees. I've been stung three times. I wear no equipment. When our bees come on Friday, we're gonna be splitting them into new colonies. There's my receipt, 60 bucks for the queens, 38 to ship. Be here Friday. Thank you, OHB. 100 years ago today, a blizzard and an earthquake in the Shenandoah Valley, East Coast. Central Appalachians on April 9th, 1918, a 4.9 earthquake kicked off during two significant weather events, including a blizzard repeating a solar pattern that we have been predicting for you and others. Let's talk about some geoengineering effects of hail suppression operational programs on hail frequency and environment in Moldova. Leah was doing some research. Sh share with me this paper tonight. Guys, they were cloud seeding in Moldova to stop the hail and they increased the hail. 
These idiots. Boom. What did you think was going to happen? So they put up these toxic uh, silver iodide into the atmosphere to cloud sea to stop the hail, and they increased the hail frequency in Moldova, destroying crops. These and idiots. Look at the increase. Whew. I'll leave you links to the uh, numbnuts. Manipulating with weather will backfire. Here is proof coming out in 2017. China is predicting a massive silver iodide geoengineering event to create more rain. All they're going to do is toxify the planet more. Mother Nature is what we have to work with. We cannot control the weather. We can tweak it and we can create more hail when we're trying to suppress it. That's what we can do. It's going to backfire, folks. World Health Organization report finds no public health risk or abuse potential for CBD. That's not going to backfire. Pure, pure plant extract, pure health from cannabis. Heads up. No side effects. No public health risk. If you're thinking about CBD, you should be thinking about it now. When the systems fail, you're not going to be able to get your pharmaceuticals. You can't just stop your pharmaceuticals. If you are on psychoactive drugs, you need to start weaning yourself off now. Leah and I both suffer from psychological disorders, and we don't take any more pharmaceuticals. Well, I don't, 100%. She has been weaning herself off for years using the wonderful health benefits of cannabis. And you can too. It's legal in 50 states and countries all over the globe. Come check out Hemp Lucid. It has changed many lives. And it could change yours. Now's the time to figure it out. Cannabis medicine is the key to the future. I recommend the whole plant CBD MCT oil. I take it every day. I use the 1500 milligram. You get the cheapest price via Oppenheimer Ranch. Nowhere else. The link is below every one of our videos. I won't say another word. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Things are happening quickly. We're reporting on them. We have another year left of cycle 24 as we descend into the minimum. We're nowhere near coming up into cycle 25. That won't happen until 2021, folks. We're going to have a period of zero sunspots that lasts for over a year. It's going to start shortly. In the next six months, there will be no more sunspots on the sun for over a year as total solar irradiance plummets. The effects on the planet are going to be breathtaking, and unprecedented. Be safe.